the understatement of the day by any coach will be how happy we are to be here, but we really are. We hadn't been here for three years, and it seemed like an eternity. Um, you know, we're just really proud of the season we've had thus far. Uh, our kids have played uh, remarkable all year. Uh, I feel like we have a pretty balanced team, and and it, you know, consequently, each day has been a, a different type of uh, game. Sometimes it's been high scoring, sometimes low scoring, but our pitching and defense has been pretty consistent. So, generally speaking, we've been in most of the ball games and and found a way to win most of them. Fortunately, uh, the, um, uh, the the great thing about our team this year is is it's just one of those teams that. The chemistry is so outstanding. I don't know if the chemistry comes because of our winning or because, or the winning becomes uh, is because of our chemistry. But it's been a great group of kids to work with, and I'm just so thrilled for our seniors that they had an opportunity to get here before their career ended. You know, we heard so much all year that this would be the first senior class to not make it to Omaha since the incoming freshman of 1982. So that was a legacy we didn't want these kids to have, and fortunately, in our last try, we were able to get them here to Omaha. Uh, I'm thrilled to compete against these three gentlemen to my left because I will tell you that uh, I have the greatest respect for all three of them. Uh, you know, these these guys have all run tremendous programs. I have personal history with all of them. And, uh, you know, obviously we're going to try to beat each other out there on the field, but there'll be an awful lot of uh, hopefully mutual respect uh, between the teams that are out there playing. So it should be a great series. Could you all have set Elliot and I any closer? <laughs> together. Uh, we're touching knees. By the end of this, we might be holding hands. As all of us up here know, and, and I think everybody, it's extremely difficult uh, to get here. Uh, the parody in college baseball is at the highest level that it's, that it's ever been. And um, all the games that, um, and the Super Regionals and the Regionals that were, uh, that were played throughout the country were, were evidence of that. Um, just very close, hard-fought games. Um, you know, our, well, our season's, I think, been a lot like, like Paul's and LSU and that uh, we had high, high expectations coming in, and, and um, those are always tough to deal with. But, um, you know, we managed through it and, um, you know, down the stretch um, had some really tough, hard-fought games, um, you know, in our league and then uh, obviously in the ACC tournament and uh, regionals and super regionals. So we feel very fortunate we were just able to navigate through those and, um, and come out on top. And... Um, you know, I feel the same way about our seniors. We had one in particular, Cody Stubbs, a transfer, who um, I'm especially thrilled that uh, he's um, going to end his career, you know, playing in the College World Series. This certainly never gets old, will never get old. And um, I concur with Paul that, um, you know, I think all of us college coaches have a unique uh, bond. And, um, um, and I think that's always neat to see, and I hope it always stays that way. I feel the same way about the coaches here and the other four coaches. I'm, in the other bracket, it's a uh, it's an honor, it's an honor to be here, and um, we appreciate everything that um, has done for the players and uh, the support staff here while we're here. Paul said you hadn't been here in three years, right? <laughs> Mike, you hadn't been here in two years, and Savage, you hadn't been here since last year. <laughs> well, NC State hadn't been here in 45 years, so I don't know if that makes me more excited to be here than than them. I doubt it, but we are very grateful and very happy to be here, and just. I've heard all the stories, and, and I came here and did a clinic one time in, like, 1992 with, like, Joe Arnold and Eddie Cartieri and, and did a clinic. And uh, matter of fact, they took me to a couple of horse races, I think. <laughs> I was broke back then, and, 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 and Joe and Eddie sniffed it out, and they took me under their wing. And I swore I'd never come back here unless I had a team to bring with me. And just so grateful to be representing NC State, so happy to be here. All the stories I've heard have already come true with how you're treated, the city of Omaha, and uh, just everything. And I'd like to uh, just book in on what uh, Mike and Paul said about the relationships. I mean, first person I saw, coach I saw, was Paul Maneri. Paul Maneri was the head coach at Air Force. I was at New Mexico State, you know, and I knew he was a recruiter back then because we played. We woke up in 80-degree weather, and Paul Maneri talks me into coming playing in the snow in Air Force. That's what kind of recruiter he is. And we, we always talked about we'll meet here in the College World Series one day. And John Savage at the same time was an assistant in Nevada, Reno. And Mike and I have had a few battles <laughs> over the last few years. So the relationships are special. Glad to be sitting on this uh, 
podium with these gentlemen and, like Mike said, the, the guys in the other bracket. And uh, our ball club has been a resilient one. A lot of injuries early. They persevered. You have to be resilient in this game. It's the only way you can get by. It toughens you up if you can weather some storms, and they did. Very proud of this ball club. They represent so many players from NC State through the years that had a chance to get here and didn't quite make it. So we feel like we're here representing so many people, and we're very, very proud to be here. It's great to be back. Uh, it's, it's good to see uh, familiar faces. Certainly, I'd uh, like to thank the city of Omaha for putting on, I think, the best NCAA tournament uh, out there uh, in, in, in any sport uh, for families and young, young boys that uh, feel that they're going to be college players. Uh, this, is, this is college baseball heaven. And I know Paul and Mike and Elliot, I think, feel the same way. Uh, it's an honor to be here. I think we're one of those teams that uh, people are a little surprised that we are here. Uh, we had a very good team last year. We lost a lot of players. Uh, we think we earned this trip. Uh, we went through one of, uh, one of the most difficult roads, which was Cal State Fullerton, uh, which my assistant at UCLA, Rick Vanderhoek, did an unbelievable job, uh, won over 50 games, which was a very impressive run. Um, so we feel fortunate, uh, but we also feel like we've earned this trip. It's uh, I, like Elliot. Um, it's um, the 16 teams that go to those super regionals, and, and those you know those three game series is just a complete grind, and uh, it's almost a relief uh, when when you get through that series and have an opportunity to go compete again uh, against some great coaches, uh, great programs, and um, a great a great venue. Yeah, it's a good thing because if we weren't here playing each other, we'd be out recruiting. So yeah, this is a really really good thing. But uh, you know every it's. Um, I talked to Ray Tanner last night for a while, and, and Ray was like, yeah, I had to go there a couple times and play Clemson. I know what that's like. But you know what? I think we, we kind of like playing each other. It's a great rivalry. It's intense, but it's not <laughs> – well, I mean, it's not hated. It's not as hated as people think. It's, uh, the games have been so good, and they've been clean games, and both teams can really, really play. And it's a, it's a huge competition. They got the best of us the last time, and uh, so, you know – yeah, it's uh, it'll be okay. I agree with Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time ever. <laughs> For the first time ever. I mean, yes, it ha it it has to be good. I mean, it's good for our league, good for the state of North Carolina. Um, should be exciting. It's funny how it kind of all worked out, but um, no, it's no fun playing NC State when Carlos were done. <laughs> Is on the mound. I'm going to go ahead and get that out there right now because I know that question's coming at some point. John, you feel like we're at a vaudeville act up here? <laughs> <laughs> Sideshow. Yeah. Yeah.